Okay, the Musketeer Minute on Monday with head coach Travis Steele. And coach, obviously, uh, it's fun to do one of these one-on-one -on -one interviews after a big victory, and there are none bigger than, than the Crosstown shootout. Uh, so many places, so many things we could talk about, but I, I think we'll probably start with Paul Scruggs and the way that he performed in this game uh, was, was remarkable. Paul was incredible. Um, he, put a, he put our team on his back in a lot of big moments. Um, he was dominant. I thought he was the best player on the floor. I didn't even think it was even close. It was funny, like we had Derek Brown, former Xavier player, uh, David West and two Holloway all speak to our team. And they, they all said to our team over Zoom, you know, they remember their record. They remember every uh, all the plays that happened in these games. And I told Paul today before the game, I said, hey, man, this is your chance to go down three and one in the Crosstown shootout. I said, what a better what, – what, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. And you could just tell how mission-driven he was right from the jump ball. And I thought our team took on his personality today. You know, there, there was a lot made potentially of this game, maybe not carrying the same sort of cachet for one reason or another. I, I could tell by observing the game that it didn't seem like there was anything taken off of it other than no, no fans in the stands. Did you get the sense that this edition of the Crosstown shootout was just as meaningful, just as emotional as any other? Absolutely. You know, whether there's one fan, hundreds of fans, thousands of fans, it does not matter. I mean, you got – Two really good programs, Jack. You know, University of Cincinnati has been really good over the years. Xavier's been really good over the years. And it makes for a great rivalry. I mean, it's, a, uh, it's an absolute war out there. I always I told our guys, not the, uh, the, the most talented team rarely wins this game. It's the toughest team, right? The team that's going to take on, you know, it lo loves the physicality, rebounds the ball, the loose balls. Like, that's ultimately going to dictate who wins the game. And uh, there was no difference to me, quite honestly, with, with the shootout this year. Uh, the, the page turns very quickly as it does in college basketball as OU is coming to town, Oklahoma, always a well-coached team with, with Lon Kruger, uh, maybe an early scouting report on the Sooners. I know you haven't had much time. Yeah, they're really talented. Um, you know, they're big, uh, they, they're skilled, you know, they play really, really fast. Uh, they shoot the ball very, very, very well. Uh, they got the big kid, Manic, who's really good, who's uh, hit eight threes in a game already this year, eight of 10, six foot nine. Um, uh, Reeves is a guard, a senior guard for them who can really, really score. So it's going to be – we're going to have our hands full. It's an NCAA caliber team. Um, we get our opportunity to, to protect home court here at Cintas on Wednesday. And Saturday against Providence, open up Big East play, and it'll be the first road game that's more than three miles away. H have you talked to the team about getting ready in this COVID environment for the first road trip? Yeah, you know, I, I just told our guys, you know, listen, it, it's our goal is to win the Big East, right? Whether we're playing at home, away, I really do not care. Um, we get a great opportunity to play at Providence on Saturday, who is very, very well coached by Ed Cooley. Um, they're going to be very physical. They're going to be tough. They rebound the ball at a very high level. We have to be able to handle them changing defenses constantly uh, throughout the game. And if we do that, we'll, I think we'll give ourselves and have a chance to start off 1-0 in Big East play. All right, Coach, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you along the way. Best of luck this week. Thanks, Jed.